Oh, you know, thank God for uh, uh, YouTube. There's a lot out there. I researched the 1940s uh, uh, mental health, uh, all the articles that I can find on, on, on Google. Uh, it, and the more I dove into it, the more I, I, I found out how dark everything was and how, how uh, desperate those times were just to, for a doctor to, to try and treat their patients because a lot of them were just guesswork for the most, for the most part they're guessing and they're trying to borrow ideas from other doctors from other countries and, and see if that's going to work. So, and, and when you, when you read them, they, some of them are just barbaric, especially uh, lobotomies back in those days, I speak like lobotomies had that, that mm help with me because of the uh, the, the way we're uh, we're telling the story I practice on my son uh, <laughs> not that about it. now uh, we I we had a doctor in, in on set with us uh, guiding us and so he would uh, give me dummies uh, for especially for stitching up wound or uh, for doing the, the ice pick lobotomy, uh, which is good because I'm not as shocked anymore when I showed up on, on set with a live, an actress, a real actress uh, there on the uh, uh, operating table. Uh, it, it was fun. It was, uh, I, I had to keep my, my hands up from shaking sometimes. I, d I did do some serial killer research, um, but I found more traction researching um, people with uh, mental illness and um, a few a few books um, that that my mother gave me actually um, about ch uh, child from child psychologists about um, actually kids because I kind of thought of Edmund as a, a hardened kid in the on the inside, so I, I did some research about uh about a, a b child abuse and what that does to your growing brain and uh that was one of my ways one of my ways in i did yes and i, I read the book really uh, right before uh starting it um because i really wanted to see that um that perspective of from from the inmates point of view um and so that was a nice way in i mean it's very our, our show is is very much a departure from from that but it but it uh it kind of lays the groundwork for for the movie and the novel i did i saw the movie um i rewatched it again before we started uh, uh rehearsals i mean filming and uh it, it was it was very different from uh, our show uh, because it's well, you know, it's the beginning uh, of Nurse Ratchet's life. I think there is a sense of um, like you're kind of in a, a, a repertory company once you're in his fold is that he'll, he's, he uses the same people. He gives people something they've never done before and, and writes them um stuff that he knows they can do that they might not know um and also i think that he's someone who really trusts his gut he, he makes he makes kind of split second decisions sometimes that are very very big decisions but he he trusts his own instincts so much um that there's no there's kind of no looking back you're kind of you're on the train and it's moving and uh it's it's going to happen because he says it's going to happen you know um, so it's a it's a it's a uh, very uh, creative group to be a part of. He's a, a unique, beautiful. Uh, he's a genius uh, artist. Uh, he he likes to tell stories that uh, uh, different from other storytellers. And what makes him special as well is that he champions people who are underrepresented in, in, in our community, LGBTQ uh, people of a certain age. Uh, the, the, handicap uh you know so and he loves telling their stories or putting them in in his stories to tell them